and welcome to Beth Gallet. Not bad, eh? Gotta get up that somehow. Good morning and welcome to Beth Gallet. I've come away for a long weekend to a large park just outside of Beth Gallet called Forest Holidays. Absolutely lovely. Um, when you're in Wales, you walk, don't you? Now, I checked the weather forecast because <laughs> you have to in Wales. Um, it's just gone half six. I know, but when you check the weather in Wales and you see like there's a four hour window where you've got okay weather, you kind of take it. So this morning, I'm going to attempt to climb Mole Hebog, um, which is another big hill in Beth Gallet. I've done a hill walk around Beth Gallet before the other side of the Aberglaslin. I'll link the video if you want to go and see that. Um, so yeah, it's just gone half six. It's probably one of the biggest hills I've done for a while since my knee injury, so I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go. Um, another thing I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna go, um, I've got a new toy. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but we're gonna see if an old dog can learn new tricks. Let's go and see if we can get up this hill, eh? All right, it's worth pointing out is Ah, there's several routes up, but of the research ones, there's a main route up um, Molhebog, which is straight out of the centre of Bad Gallet. Now, from where I'm staying, there's another route up Mount Hebog. And when you plot the route and you look at the gradient, I'm taking the more pragmatic approach to Hebog. You're still going up the same height, you can't get away from that. But the initial approach from Beth Gallet is right up a straight, rather aggressive incline um, for about the first mile and a half, which I'm going to cut out completely. So the route that I'm taking is sort of coming around and onto Hebog, um, a bit more, a bit more less intense, um, but the same height. So let's go.
<laughs> right, we've had the warm up. <laughs> now comes the difficult bit. It's time to fight through this bit of forest for about a mile. I don't know if you can make it out, but we're going up to the other side of that. So now, I'm gonna climb up through the trees and pick up a ridge. And we're uh, working our way along to Hebog. Now the further you get up, the views are starting to present themselves. I mean, come on. If I'd have gone the other way, I'd have missed all that. Not bad, day. Eh? Worth getting up early for. Yeah. Right then. Whilst rain isn't forecast for today, handy hint for the route that I've just done. Just done, still doing. I'm halfway through the, the forest stage. It hasn't rained this morning, it did rain last night. But the path through the forests, certainly the ones I've come through today, are really narrow and they're overgrown. I now have wet legs. Because I didn't bring any waterproof trousers. And because the paths are all overgrown, all the plants are all wet and now my legs are. Never mind, there's worse things and the views are absolutely stunning and I haven't even got to the top yet. So, quick water break, back through the, the rest of this forest stage and let's get up on that hill. And with a bit of luck, with the wind and a bit of sunshine on the top, with a bit of luck, my legs will dry out. It's not, a, it's not a big walk, this is about four and a half, five miles. It's going to take about three hours. So before my legs get even remotely really wet and cold, I'll be heading down, back off Hebog, back towards Bad Gallet. Um, and along the steam train line, back towards the Lodge Park, because the steam train goes right past it. So the better luck, I'll be able to catch a steam train on the way back. Right, bit of water, and then back through this bloody wood. When you've been climbing for over an hour and you get through the woods <laughs> and you see that and you realise you haven't. Oh, let's carry on then. That, Mole Hebog. That, I'll put the name up later. I'm going through the middle and then up onto the top where the cloud currently is. So, a bit of a scramble, but one way or another, huffing and puffing, I'm going up that hill. See you in a bit. That section there was boggy as. Got my trekking poles with me. And you know, when your feet disappear, so you put your trekking poles out. And your trekking pole disappears as well. Yeah. Tough going that bit.
That was tough, that bit. Boggy as, so boggy. I've now got to change, I've now got to change my socks. Um, just luckily for me, I've got a, I've got a spare pair. Well, as I'm now looking up, and I think this is where the serious part of the climb starts. I think this is a good time to get my socks changed, take on a bit of food, have a bit of a chill, and then get onto the hebog, see what it's all about in a bit. Oh, wow. Look at that. More importantly, look at this. Got to get up that somehow. Oh, it's going to get windy on the top. So if I'm talking, <laughs> I don't know, you're not going to hear me. I'll probably do some over talking when I get get back home. So at some point, it'll probably look like a really badly dubbed kung fu film from the 70s. I'm at the top of the hill. It's very cold. <sighs> not there yet. <laughs> we just got to keep going. Snowden off to the distance, still covered in clouds. Right there. Can you make out the angle I'm walking at? <sighs> Billy Goat Territory. to the top. The old man's done well. That last section, <laughs> absolute killer. Um, no defined sort of path, so there's no steps or, so your feet are also on the same angle as the floor, which really rolls your feet. It's taken me longer than I thought, but then I've taken my own advice. I've taken much more breaks um, to give me leg a chance to heal and you know what I'm at the top I now don't have to drive two and a half hours to go home and the lodge has got a hot tub so first get off this hill and then in my future is a hot tub and some beer see you on the way down There's Bad Gallet. That was to the distance, you can just make out Clint Dennis. For the people who've watched me last walk, that was the hill we ran over to go back to Clint Dennis. So, well, her bog is higher than that. Steam train? Right then. How do we get off this bloody mountain? It's um, a bit more of a freestyle path on the way down. Lots of rocks. Pick your path carefully. And continue to pick your path carefully.
you know what, with hindsight, if you're doing this route, I probably would walk up out of bed, Gallant. Because this thing here, this is the route up. And it's a bugger, there's no defined path. You can just make out different coloured stones that sort of zigzag the way up. But it's a mixture of rough stone, loose stone, solid stone. Um, climbing up it's probably easier and then going down the route that I came up. Because I can tell you now, after already climbing and walking through boggy and stuff, coming down this is a nightmare. So if you're coming to walk at bog, I think my only advice is there is no easy way to do it. But I think there's an easier way to climb it. Coming down it is... It's tough coming up, whichever way you do it. But I think when you've got tired legs trying to come down this is... I wouldn't. Just my opinion. Yeah. It looks just as bad down here as it does trying to come down that. I'm getting flashbacks to a... A walk with our Sean once. Yeah. Climb this side. And in some places you will be rock climbing. But it's better than coming down it. Trust me. And now... Down till... So I'm sat here doing nothing. I'm going to introduce you to my new friend. This is my new toy. It's called the Hover Air X1. It's not sponsored. It was gifted to me by one of, one of my subscribers. <laughs> my wife. Now, I've always wanted a drone. Because everyone else has got one. Did I think I could ever fly one? I wasn't sure. So, I saw this online. I thought, can't be any good. It's got no remote. It's all pre-programmed. It fits in your pocket. You fold it out. And there's lots of pre-programmed flight modes. So you literally press a button, tell it what to do. It takes off out your hand, goes off and does whatever it does comes back you put your hand under it it lands back in your hand if an old guy like me can even use one it's amazing it really is that clever so just goes to show you can't teach an old dog new tricks and this will now be going everywhere with me it fits in my pocket it's an absolute diamond thanks julie all right then there's the lodge park. I think what we've got to do now is just go across into the trees, pick up the rail track and run along adjacent and into the hot tub. Last push. Mm -hmm. 